Hey everyone, this is Jim at sp500chart.com. It is uh, <clears throat> about 5.20 on December 4th, 2012. We're going to look at the S&P, and we got chart data to look at as the uh, chart um, streaming data flow was corrected. So that's good news. Before we get started, just need to remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And I remind you again, I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, today was a bit disappointing if if you were like me expecting a bounce on this particular line right here. But as we think about the way uh, these patterns work, and, and the fact that this bounce was not, and not this bounce, but this lack of bounce, it really wasn't a, a strong breaking of this line. It was a little bit interesting the way it, it took place. We opened up yesterday morning and for two, almost uh, a day and a little bit more than a day and a half, the S&P has just kind of slid downwards, as you can see, and we'll take a, a little bit closer look, as you can see that um, that, that particular channel created on the five minute chart, or, or two minute or three minute chart, whatever you want to look at, that particular channel did see um, the, the S&P get above the top resistance line, which may be setting up a, uh, a back test of this line. And guys, I'm still holding out that this inverted head and shoulders down here on the left side of the chart will produce its minimum target of roughly 1435, 1436. You know, I, I, that's that's all I can say. I, I think it should do that. But they almost always do. Not always, but with amazing, like, let's say four out of five times, you get what you would expect out of head and shoulders patterns, be they tops or bottoms. Now, let's take a little bit closer look. Now we look at a five-minute chart. Here you can see. You know, this this is a little open to interpretation. You know, maybe that's the best fit. I, I, I'm not sure. If we look at it like this, then we have one, two, three, four touches on this descending line. We have a pretty clear support line down here. And if we move this line from its first location here, which is parallel with only two touches, if we move it here to where we have four, then what we end up with is a is a small descending wedge. So tomorrow, um, I hate to say this, I got no real strong sense for direction. Um, we could come down and, and back test this little line right here, or we could come on back up and back test this top line right here. And since these lines are diverging so quickly, that leads me to, to kind of take a, 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 a little bit broader look at things and just say we expect support here and we expect resistance here. I remind you that oftentimes the, these patterns get their, their final um, target met on a back test of a broken line. So it is quite possible that even though this line has broken, that we get a, a, a back test rally. And if we were to get that, then I would really especially expect resistance at the in the mid 1430s. Okay, does that make sense? In other words, we really haven't slid down and then come back for that for that meaningful rally to back test broken support. And uh, we know we I think we might could draw an additional little support line here just 
for jollies. Let's take the last two uh, bottoms on this 15 minute chart and extend it on out. That will be a new feature to this chart. And uh, this may bear watching as well. But right now, we have ended this uh, one and a half day slide. The question remains, do we come back down for a back test here, setting up then what would probably be a rally to uh, these levels in the mid 1430s? Or have we broken out of this and we're gonna now jump on back up to the 1420s and maybe even hit that 1430s mark um, on a back test to this broken support line. Those are kind of the $64,000 questions. I still hold out that this inverted head and shoulders pattern that formed in November should still see its target through, through hook or crook in the mid 1430s and and I say that with what I what is historically roughly 80 percent confidence so nothing is a hundred percent when we look at this but here we have a sign that even though this support line broke it did not do so in such a such a um, swift and what we typically see as a cascade uh, event Instead, we just kind of traded down through that line. So maybe this, this isn't that important. Maybe the market is just kind of ignoring this. But here you can see, no matter where you draw this, uh, this line right here, and I'm going to change these colors, by the way, to blue. Real quick, while I got you here. Oh, by the way, it's, I kind of had a scare when I logged back on and saw we had chart data for about 30 minutes. All of my drawings were missing. I didn't like that. So uh, here you have it. It looks like this one and a half day slide is showing signs of reversal. But, uh, but now I would expect this line to uh, put up possibly some resistance, but almost certainly resistance in the 1430s if we rally up there uh, in the next two to three days. So guys, that is the video for today. Again, the slide looks to showing signs of reversal. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and uh, I wish you the best this week.